Hello everybody and welcome back to a new weekly reading vlog. I am currently reading The Tenant of Wildfell Hall and I'm starting the week off on page 92. I'm really enjoying this so far, really really enjoying it and I've been listening along to the audiobook which is actually one of the audible like included with your audible subscription which is really handy so i haven't had to use one of my credits for it and i am really enjoying this so far i haven't done any reading on my lunch today because i've been editing last week's reading vlog which was needed and um i do though intend to get a big chunk hopefully read this evening i would like to get this done before christmas so that over christmas and Boxing Day, I can read the Christmasaurus and the Naughty List, I think it's called. Um, but yeah, looking forward to this week. It's going to be a bit of a funny week, a bit of a higgledy-piggledy week. So we'll see how it goes, but I would like to get it finished. I don't know if that's a bit optimistic. I've still got like 300 odd pages to read nearly, just shy of 300 pages. So hopefully we can do it. I've done the maths and if I read it, I can read 71 pages a day, if I can do that many, and then I'll have it done um, on Thursday next week, which is the day before Christmas Eve. That is the plan, so that Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day, and the sort of the couple of days afterwards, I can read The Christmas Stories and the Naughty List, which I've got over there on my TBR shelf, uh, which is something Christmassy that I just want to read. Good evening, everybody. I thought I'd come on. It's now Tuesday evening. and I thought I would update you with my reading from yesterday for the Tenant of Wildfell Hall. I made really, really good progress yesterday and I actually managed to get to page 191, which was actually nearly 30 pages more than what I actually needed to read for my 71 pages a day. However, I have done no reading today. I went out with work on a trip out to, um, I had to go up to Essex and I was out for most of the day, didn't get my normal lunch break and such. So I didn't actually get any reading time in yet. And it is, what time is it? It's nearly half past five and I still haven't done any reading yet today. So I don't know if this is going to actually pay off in my favour or if I'm just going to read the balance of the extra pages today, if that makes sense, and still have only read 71 pages for each day. I don't know. But oh, this is getting so, so, so good. Really, really enjoying it. Enjoyed the, there's been a perspective change. Um, and I've really enjoyed that. And I'm intrigued to see where this is going and how this is going to go. Uh, I say that with every book, but it's true. It is true. So still on track, hopefully, for finishing it um, by Thursday. I've got a couple more days to finish it. So let's hope. I can get it finished because then I can crack on with the Christmas Saurus and the Naughty List. This is not going to be, I don't think, a very difficult one to read. I love these books. I think they're so pretty. The end pages and the actual hardback itself is just stunning. And they're all like this. Um, I don't know where the other two are. But anyway, so I'm hoping that then, like I say, I can get... The Tent of Wild Bell Hall finish that I can crack on with this, but I think I've probably said that in every update clip so far. But I have had some bookish mail in the last couple of days, which I thought as well I would update you on. Uh, yesterday I came home to a parcel and I received the Post Office Girls by Poppy Cooper, um, which is really interesting. This is set in 1915 um, and it is um, about a girl that joins the post office. And I was very kindly gifted this by, where's the gift note gone? Oh, there it is. Um, from A Cup and a Book on Instagram, part of the um, wish list book giving Christmas extravaganza. And then today when I got home, I opened up a parcel with Everything and the Moon, which is the first book in the Linden Sisters trilogy by Julia Quinn, who's the same author of the Bridgerton series. Um, and I'm super, super excited to get to these as well. I loved the Bridgerton series. I still need to finish the last book, um, but I can't wait to get to this in the new year and um, and and read it and, and see what this series is like. I'm really looking forward to it. So thank you so much. Did I tell you who this was from? It's 
from a book lover's diary again part of the same wish list group but thank you so 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 much i'm so 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 grateful and it was lovely to come home to um some books i'm just waiting for my payday and then i'm going to send a couple more couple more over to everybody so yes i had massive technical issues yesterday with the weekly vlog for last week which really really annoyed me i literally lost all of my footage from the app that i'm editing it on and um i'd literally edited everything all i needed to do was save it and i was running out of space and then i deleted all the clips somehow from the app so that's been a bit of a fail anyway i'm gonna get crack -a lacking with editing that doing some reading and making some progress i can do this i can do this i can finish this i can finish it so Lots has happened. Um, I've done no filming. I filmed a little clip yesterday just because I had some post. I've still got the remnants of the package here. I had some bookish mail which I wanted to film a clip for but I felt like too much had happened for me to try and film the clip and explain what happened and update you on everything. Um, it's the 1st of January today. It's just gone 10 o'clock on the 1st in the morning and i have just sat down and filmed a couple of sort of like sit down videos not vloggy ones and i thought i'd come on and just update you and just try and amalgamate as much of this footage that i've got all together and hopefully it will make a vlog <laughs> and some sort of coherent vlog the first thing i hope everyone had an amazing christmas and an amazing new year's and if you don't celebrate i hope you had an amazing holidays and amazing festive season on Christmas morning, my other half uh, got down on one knee and proposed. And obviously I said, yes, super, super, super happy. Wasn't expecting it. We've been talking about getting married. Um, and he did ask me my ring size, like on the lead up to Christmas, but I didn't think anything of it. And I didn't think it would happen this quickly. Anyway, complete shock, complete surprise. But he did it in the morning of Christmas Day. So then in, on the whole of Christmas Day, we were hosting first Christmas in our, on our own home. We were hosting both Christmas Day and Boxing Day. I was a mess. <laughs> I was giddy. I was so happy. I didn't know whether I was coming or going. I don't quite know. Still, to this day, a week later, because it's been a week since we've been engaged already, bonkers, how I managed to cook a Christmas dinner for everybody. <laughs> Don't know how I did it. It was an hour later than I'd planned it to be. And yeah, that was my Christmas day. It was amazing. So, so happy. Started looking at plans, what we want, talking about what we want from a wedding, how we want a wedding to go, be, everything. And I'm really, really excited we do want to get married in 2022 if we can, but I just think financially it's going to be too much of a strain on us. And I think we might be looking at more like 2023. That's cool. I'm not fussed with that. Um, we'll see what we can do. If we can make it work, we'll make it work. If not, we can't. I've got to do a little bit more number crunching first and see if there's even availability for us to get married sooner. But so that happened um i had an amazing christmas um it was a really lovely day and got to see my nephew on his first christmas and see family we had family over for dinner and then boxing day we got to announce to all of my other half's family that we were getting married that we got engaged uh, we had them all over here and that was lovely as well and some of them haven't even visited us in our home yet because with everything else that's been going on with covid restrictions uh, we moved in in february 2021 19th of february so some of um, his family haven't even made it here yet so um it was really lovely to have everybody together and yeah now since i last posted i have finished four books well three physical ones here uh, and i read one on my kindle which was my final book i can announce i hit my 80 books that i wanted to read i can't remember if i talked about this really in a reading vlog but i wanted to hit 80 because last year I had this all in my head and now I've forgotten in 2020 I read um 93 books 
but 2020 was the year that I had 16 weeks off of work. Um, it wasn't a normal year at all. And I felt like that wasn't a fair, like, comparison to try and read the same. Considering in 2021, we bought our first house, we moved out of family home, lots of things changed, I moved jobs. Um, so my idea was once I hit 52, and it was quite obvious that I was overachieving past 52, um, in 2019, which was my last sort of like realistic reading year, I read 79 books. That was the year that I think I also um, discovered and read Outlander. So the number from the year before, it was it was quite reduced on, but it made sense because I found Outlander. They're all massive. They're over a thousand pages, most of them. So um, 79 was kind of like my last year that was quite a normal year. Um, so the idea was I wanted to hit 80 because then that's one more book than my last normal year. So I did hit 80. I'm really, really pleased. I finished, uh, I think the last book that I was reading whilst I was vlogging was The Tenant of Wildfell Hall. I finished this. I enjoyed it. Um, I definitely want to read more from the Brontes. Um, and I, I, don't, I don't know, this was a little bit, it was really good and I really enjoyed it. Um, but I do feel like maybe it was missing something. There's lots of angst in whether in heights there's lots of like drama and in Jane Eyre there's quite a lot as well um and this one still had drama but it was different I don't know whether it was just maybe I didn't read this at the right time in my life um and maybe I wasn't as absorbed in it as I could have been I don't know but I still really enjoyed it and I still want to read more from the Bronte sisters and um yeah I think, um, is it Anne Bronte that wrote Agnes Grey? I don't know. But I definitely do want to read more. And I want to read more classics as well in 2022, if that's at all possible. Um, I then read, I'm trying to get this the right way around. I then read The Christmasaurus and The Naughty List. I've got a funny feeling I picked this up and read maybe like 10 pages on Christmas Eve, but got no more than that read. Um, and then I read it mostly after Christmas. Um, this was really fun. It wasn't as Christmassy for me as the other two have been. This was about the naughty list. And basically the story behind this one is that the Christmasaurus goes on an adventure to try and get um, lots of children off of the naughty list. Um, so it didn't have as much of a Christmas vibe to it, in my opinion, but it was still magical. It was still really lovely to be back in sort of Christmasaurus universe. We we visited, we visited William Trandall, who's the character from the first Christmasaurus book. And um, it, it, it is magical. It, it is a magical series. Um, and I definitely will read, if there's any more coming, I will definitely read them as and when they come. But yeah, not quite as Christmassy, in my opinion. But still really enjoyed it and um, it was lovely to read at the time that I read it and it was nice to read a children's book after reading The Tenant of Wildfell Hall which is obviously quite a dense classic. It was quite nice to pick up a children's book and it was just a really easy and warming read. These are always quite like warm and fuzzy cosy reads. Uh, the next one that I read uh, was Thornhill by Pam Smy. Smee? Smy? Um this was amazing um trigger warnings for child abuse um bullying and suicide so just be mindful of that um going into it if you like the sound of it but basically this is about um it's kind of like a split narrative we have diary entries from a character called mary so we have her diary and this is a graphic novel because then we also have we'll have black pages between then the graphic novel which is kind of like the current timeline uh which is kind of like a modern day so we've split between sorry my package is falling split between the 80s and sort of like 9, 2017 i think and it follows um a girl called ella who moves to a house that backs onto thornhill which is an old children's home um, and we kind of get um, uh, we kind of get these um, drawings and the graphic novel side of things comes from 
um, the modern modern timeline and then we get the diary entries from Mary um, that are like what's going on it was really moving it was really sad um, and it was really um, I really felt really immersed in the story and how do I put it um, it was quite haunting and I really enjoyed reading it. It's, enjoying it sounds wrong, but it was really immersive. I can't think of words. Um, and it was quite a quick read because it was a graphic novel, but the detail to the images was so amazing. And I really enjoy reading books that have, graphic novels that have drawings in them as well, because I find it adds like another level to the story. Um, yeah, really, really, really enjoyed that. And then I read on my Kindle app, uh, Amelia's Christmas List by J.M. Morgenthau, which is Amelia's Christmas List, which is actually written by um, a mutual friend's partner. So um, it was really interesting to read this. It was 103 pages. And again, this was really emotional. Um, trigger warnings for sort of like child illness, cancer um, and loss. But... Um, it was really sad but it was also really humbling and I think it was done in a really good way as well so I hit my 80 books and I hit my 80 books I feel like I had a really really good reading year if you haven't seen it already I've posted my top reads of 2021 and uh, I'm also I've also posted already you will see on my channel um couple of like, top standalone books I want to read in 2022 and I'm literally currently uploading as we speak um my top series that I want to continue or start in 2022 as well so I am really looking forward to my reading I'm so excited um and I'm sorry this vlog is a bit mishmashed you're next gonna see a clip of me um unwrapping a package from yesterday which is weird like with time but like I said I felt like too much had happened too much had gone on she just come back and be like here's a package and I got engaged and I've read all of this and the lighting wasn't in my favour yesterday either so let's roll that clip now I don't think this lighting is very good but we're just going to kind of go with it it is uh just gone four o'clock it's new year's eve i'm going to film a clip probably tomorrow morning now because the light's not very good um which is going to explain everything that's been missed in the time that i haven't been vlogging all the books i've read everything that's gone on and you'll have already seen that in the editing magic so However, it's New Year's Eve, like I say, I had half day at work today, I finished at midday and it was my nephew's first birthday yesterday. I was working a long day and um, I also had an evening appointment so I couldn't get there unfortunately on his actual birthday. And actually to be fair, it probably wouldn't have worked anyway with the timings. So um, I went there today after work to see him and I've come home to an Amazon parcel. I know what this is because uh, I ordered it myself, um, I decided to treat myself to some books because um, I had some uh, Amazon promotional credit left and I was like, do you know what? I'm going to treat myself to a couple of books. I received books from friends running up to Christmas, but I didn't receive any from family. I did receive a book. I'll show you that in the update that you'll have seen before this. So I got The Sun Sister uh, by Lucinda Riley. Oh my gosh, this one is massive. How big is this? 800 and... nearly 850 pages. Jeez. 832. This is chunky. This is currently the... I think this is the final book in the series that's currently published. Um... I just thought it'd be good to get hold of it so I know that I've got them all that are currently published and then I can blitz through them in 2022 and I've got them all. Um, I then also decided to treat myself to, as it was £2, uh, Meet Me in Tahiti by Georgia Toffolo. This, I believe, is the second book. I don't know if this is actually a series or if this is, they're just companion novels. I'm not sure. I need to do a little bit more research. Um, oh no, it's her third novel. 
but it was we went down to two pounds and i thought i'd pick it up whilst it was at two pounds i've got the other one which i got kindly gifted somewhere here um which was very kindly gifted um from a christmas wish list book swap so yes i am excited to read this one and again have them and be able to kind of binge them and then the thing that kind of kicked it all off which was the reason why i placed the order in the first place was that oh, it's beautiful cytonic by brandon sanderson uh was down to some it was quite cheap it massively dropped in price i think it was like 10 pounds uh in oh wow look at these end pages um since i've added it to my wish list it's really a good if you're to keep an eye on your wish list because things will go down in price and it will tell you how much it's gone down since you added it to your wish list which i think is really handy um i have skyward star sight i've read skyward haven't got haven't read star sight but i've got both of them but again i wanted to get cytonic so that i can make my way through the series that's currently published and read them so i'm really pleased with my purchases i, I needed a little treat um I felt like after Christmas, um, we really don't do presents anymore. We do a secret Santa, secret Santa with my immediate family. Um, so you, that's one present that you give and one present that you get. And it's just nice to have a little bit of a treat. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to update you. Like I say, in the morning, I'm going to come on, I'm going to do an update. And it's going to be before this clip with everything that's gone on, everything that I've read between my last update and now and I'm just going to have to kind of squish all the vlog footage that I've got over the last couple of weeks together and see if it makes some sort of sense I hope it does so yeah I'm sorry that this vlog has been a little bit higgledy piggledy and like I said I think in the last vlog I don't know what why I got the idea that started starting to vlog on the run up to Christmas was a good idea because it's just been such a crazy busy time. There's been so much going on. I don't know what I was thinking. So hopefully I can start now a fresh new year and start reading vlogging again. That'll be good, won't it? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I dread to think, I'm going to go try and edit it now. I dread to think what some of the clips are like. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next one.